Okay, so as we stare at these delicious uh, mulberries here um, on the edge of our plot. Um, what's this, guys? This is eight, right? This is plot eight? Yeah, I think it's plot eight. No. This is plot six. I think it's on the edge of plot six. So we're at plot six here, March, uh, end of March 2023. And this is what it's like. This is how we, this is what, how we locate our permanent plots. So I have a, a Esri um, ArcGIS collector on here. I have my Bad Elf Surveyor grade, my Bad Elf Surveyor grade um, a submeter GPS, which it says submeter, but with this canopy, it's like plus or minus. Um, uh, what's here right now? Right now it says 16 feet, 15 feet. So you know. You're talking about five meters, you know, ish or so, um, with all this canopy interference. But it, it's better than the default GPS, than the integrated GPS in your phone or some of the generic level uh, GPSs. And then um, uh, I would normally have a machete in my hand, but I'm trying to do all the stuff so I don't have a machete in my hand. And then some gloves and some paint, so paint to mark our our flags. And so um, this is what it typically looks like in the recent years. So we have some baby tallow right here, invasive tallow that are coming into our plot that we are um, monitoring. We'd like to see less of those, fewer of those individuals. Um, uh, and uh, getting through this stuff. So it's a mixture of um, recruiting individuals, older individuals, down dead individuals that have been taken out by um, a hurricane or weakened by a hurricane and then fall uh, after the fact. And so um, we uh, use our our GPS guides to relocate these plots so that we can return year after year after year to sample um, these uh, these areas. So we're, we're looking at the same population of trees in the same area and we uh, control for the spatial variability. And so I'm going to be walking through here hunting for the corners and the center posts. So each of our permanent plots is relatively big. So it's about 20 meters and not about, it is 20 meters by 20 meters. Where am I? Okay, so we're getting closer over here. So I'm gonna come over here, go past all this box elder, past this elder berry see down here. And we're getting kind of close. Let's try over here. So when it's really thick, we have to machete as I go through all this privet here, just behind me there, a little recruit privet. Um, and uh, so where we have to, we, we, we use the machete, but usually you don't have to machete that much unless it's really truly a sea of blackberry. Um, so right around here somewhere, I should be locating one of my PVC stakes. We stake these in um, before our first control treatment, before our first um, uh, invasive suppression effort. Uh, about 12 years ago, and we refreshed. Ah, there we go. Look, here we go. Here's one right now. So we spray paint the corners orange, and our center posts yellow. And <clears throat> um, uh, when we need to, we'll spray a tree, tree to help us. So we first go around. I will find all these corners, label them. Um, and if need be, sort of maybe mark, as I said, like a, a big tree next to it or something. And then when my survey team comes in behind me, then I'll help them. We'll do this in quadrants. So I'll survey one fourth and the next fourth and the next fourth and the next fourth. So we work our way around, getting eventually the entirety of the plot. And, um, and we do tree demography, species, woody species, demography of those species. We also do overstory cover, native and exotic. We do fern composition, which is an indicator of uh, the level of closed canopy and, and relatively uh, dark uh, under canopy and, and blackberry, which is a measure of disturbance. Um, so we have highlight uh, disturbed areas, edges of plots. That's where we get a lot of blackberry. Um, so, so yes, here we go. So I'll just spend a while. Um, this is a relatively open, relatively easy to do plot. So it was a nice one to video and illustrate. Um, but at times um, it gets more challenging and takes a lot more uh, sweat equity when we have um, poles in the middle of, say, this sea of uh, blackberries, there's a few elderberries popping up through it. Um, so that's our permanent monitoring of our bottomland hardwood forests here in coastal Louisiana, uh, in Orleans, and just south of Orleans in Plaquemines Parish.